In other news, reports are circulating in Israeli media that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is set to dismiss his defense minister. At the same time, Israel is planning a major operation against Hezbollah in the north. CBN Middle East correspondent Julie Stahl has that story. Several Israeli media outlets are reporting that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is about to fire Defense Minister Yoav Gallant. The two have been at odds since before the war, and most recently over the Philadelphia corridor in Gaza and the hostage negotiations. Gallant told President Biden's senior advisor Amos Hochstein on Monday that Israel is close to taking massive military action against Hezbollah in southern Lebanon. In his meeting with Hochstein, Netanyahu said Israel will do whatever is necessary to end Hezbollah's threat. Turning to the south, the U.N. Security Council met Monday to discuss humanitarian aid for Gaza. One controversy is whether UNRWA is helping or hurting Palestinians. Israel's ambassador to the U.N. accused UNRWA of teaching hatred against Israel and the Jews, which only prolongs and intensifies the conflict. UNRWA Gaza has become nothing more than a cartel, fostering hatred and prolonging misery in Gaza. He also accused UNRWA of employing Hamas terrorists who took part in the October 7th atrocities. Each of these terrorists were Hamas military operatives. They had a day job and a night job. Each of them was employed by UNRWA. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem. Well, it's absolutely time to stop the funding of UNRWA. It's, it, it, it makes no sense to me the international community isn't up in arms over this, that they're, they clearly had um, paid employees as part of the October 7th massacre. They, they had Hamas terrorists on their payroll. So it, 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 why, why in the world would any government want to fund that? Then on top of it, you have command and control centers of Hamas located in UNRWA facilities. Uh, again, why, why would you ever want to fund that? And then command and control centers in classrooms where UNRWA employees were teaching Palestinian children. It, it, again, it makes no sense. Um, the Swiss government has awakened to it. They're, they're moving now to make sure that they don't ever fund it again. President Trump, was, uh, when he was in office, he was awakened to it, and he stopped funding to UNRWA. Uh, the current administration restored it in the first week of office. Can we please stop funding terrorism and stop uh, letting the U.N. continue this nonsense? Uh, there won't be any peace in Israel as long as every single generation gets indoctrinated with this terror ide ideology that you have to wipe Israel off the map and you have to kill Jews. Uh, until that stops, we'll see genera generation after generation uh, uh, poised for violence and mayhem. It, it, it makes no sense to me. Why in the world would you do it? And certainly people in our own State Department knew all of these facts. It hasn't been hidden. It's been in the open. Uh, again, why in the world would you let American taxpayer dollars go to this? It's time to stop it.